Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Kirsty. I'm coming at you with a Halloween look that is gonna save your pockets some coins. You can take that money, put it in the bank, go eat somewhere, take your man out, take your girl out, take your family out, whatever you want, okay? I would be doing this on my son, but he's acting kind of weird right now, so I'm gonna do it on myself, okay? I'm gonna be using these fake little transfers, and they are, oh, my God, he's coming! Really? Okay, so I'm gonna be using these FX transfers that I got from the Halloween store. They are Hollywood film quality and all you need is water to apply them. So I got two packs, you know, just in case I messed up or something. I got this little red blood spray and it looks so real. Once you cut your FX out of the packaging, you're gonna remove it from that transfer paper, then you're gonna stick it back onto the transfer paper, sticky side down. That is the trick, guys. Then you're going to remove this plastic little film that is on the back of that transfer. Then you're going to place it in the desired area that you want, whether on your arm, shoulder, neck, back, face, wherever. Um, but it's simple, very simple. It's just like when you got little tattoos from the store when we were kids for like 25 cents. You're just gonna take some water on a damp on a cloth and then you're going to pretty much dampen up that paper until the transfer releases. Just like when you had tattoos when you were a little kid. <laughs> if you don't put enough water, it's not gonna transfer properly. If you put too much, then you might mess it up. So, you know, just do it enough. Then peel it, and once you've got it peeled, you're going to press down the edges of that FX transfer and just make sure it blends in. Now I'm gonna be using a little bit of foundation and concealer to try to blend those edges in with my skin. Of course, you know, it is plastic, but the whole point of this is it's all for fun. So it's like we're not really trying to get full FX, you know, going on here, but we do want it to look a little bit real, right? So I'm just, as you can see, blending in the edges. Now I'm taking some of that fake blood and take my makeup brush and I'm just gonna kind of paint onto the red areas of the cut. And um, it gives it a little bit more realistic feel. It looks super real. And that blood, I mean, you guys, look at it. Oh, looks disgusting. All right, moving on to the next one. So we're just going to open up our container. You're going to remove your FX transfer and uh, remove that little plastic cover once you cut it out and then you're going to place it on your skin. As you can see, that was foundation. <laughs> Got a little bit messy. But I'm gonna place this one on my cheek and um, Again, I'm using my face towel with cool water and I'm just dampening up that paper so that way the transfer will release. Once the transfer is released, I am going to apply some concealer around the edges to make sure that it blends as best as it can into my skin. Because as you can see right here, it just looks white like a blister. So I needed a little bit more brown. Now, um, I am in the ring light, so it probably looks very prominent, but once you get into your costume and in your character, it's gonna look great. Okay, so that about sums it up, guys. This is probably the quickest and most affordable Halloween addition to your costume that you can probably get. I mean, each one of these FX transfers was $9.99 at the Halloween store, and I had a 20% off coupon, so that definitely took down the price. I thought it was pretty cool. If you're into that type of gory look, you know, hey, you can't beat these, especially with the fake blood. The fake blood was $6.99. Okay, can't beat it. Comment down below if you guys thought this look was scary enough. Did it look realistic? You know, let me know if you guys think I need to be on the big screen with my acting skills. <laughs> All right, bye guys.